What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back. We got Swoozy side chicks up next, man. Shout out to the Godfather of the animation stories, right? Okay. We're gonna get straight to it, bro. Seems self-explanatory. Side chicks is the topic. We're gonna see what he's saying. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the video. And my socials will be linked down in the description below. We ain't gonna hold y'all up for too much. We're gonna get straight to it. Hope y'all enjoy. Let's go. Being the side chick is like being in Destiny's Child, except you don't get to go on tour or get paid. You got talent, you look good, but you're not Beyonce. You're always ready to dance, but you're not ever the lead singer. You just hover off to the side, shaking maracas like... There's not even any maracas in Survivor, but that's how insignificant you are. You're kind of just there to make the lead singer look good. You're good. In other words, you been playing Michelle. <laughs> Expect to get treated like Beyonce. Kelly Rowland got lucky though. Okay. For a snack, but you're not good enough to be the main piece. Got a main chick and got a mistress. Fuck up. Shout out to all my fellow. <laughs> Shout out to Flocka. You crazy. Homeworkers out there. Ooh, that's spicy. This ain't even wine. It's Mexican Coke. This ain't even Mexican Coke. It's cherry Mexican Coke. See, that's what it's like to date somebody who cheats. It's just a web of lies. Not taking shots at anybody who's cheated. We're all human. Let's talk about it. Addressing the whole fellow homewreckers thing, all right? There's a story behind it, all right? Confession, I was once the side piece. Once. I think it was just once. I might have also once came close to having a side piece. Okay, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm kidding. Um... It's, it, it's complicated. You're actually there to be everything that the main piece isn't. You're exciting, you're fun, you're drama free sometimes. And that's when a lot of the drama starts is when- It's usually to take, uh, well, I don't participate in them activities, but from what I know, usually the side take is like representative of what the main piece used to be. Um, but you yeah, apparently get complacent. And so Buddy needs the side piece because you thinking you ain't got to do nothing no more. And the side chick going to do what you ain't doing. I'm the side piece starting to think that I'm the main piece. The guy or the girl you're trying to get with that has you locked in side chick purgatory. They'll say or they'll do whatever they need to say or do to keep you locked in. Oh, I'm about to break up with my girl. Oh, I'm this close to leaving her. They start sounding like Usher with that song and dance. You make me want to leave. One with. But again, I'll give y'all both sides. Okay? Another quick story for you guys, okay? So there's this guy and this girl. We're both in relationships with separate people. They both cheated. They both broke up. They got with each other and lived happily ever after. I've seen it. So let me just put that out there. But after one, two, three hookups, you're sitting there like the fifth member of Destiny's Child and you haven't been put on stage yet? I'm gonna give you a bonus story real quick before we get started. I had a friend, her best friend was a side piece. So my friend's friend's hooking up with this athlete who has a wife at home. How about the wife finds out? The wife calls my friend's best friend. You need to leave him alone, okay? I'm uh, don't ever be this person. Ladies, y'all continue. I'm talking to fellas. Don't be the one calling the nigga about the short time your shorty doing, bruh. She choosing, she loop. I'm just playing. Everybody, don't be this person. Calling the person instead of your person for doing something they knew they weren't supposed to be doing. Just leave it there. Main piece, go find yourself your own man, and just so you know, you're not the only one. Did you guys remember career day last year? Elaine Hartzell came as a Hershey's taste tester. Once you gotta remind somebody they're not the only one, yeah. You getting into Sneeko territory if you catch my drift. That's not about to be me. All right, and I know y'all are here for the tea where I was the side piece. Here we go, get the popcorn. This story might be 10 months old. This story might be 10 years old. It might even be 10 days old, y'all don't know. I'm out with a few friends, we're walking over yonder. 
I see this other group of people walking in our direction. As we get closer, one of my friends is like, Oh my God, what are you guys doing here? So I get introduced to everybody. Let's just call this girl Chun Li. Me and her start chatting, 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 and I throw some bait out there. I was like, My friends here, they're not hungry, but I'm hungrier than a hostage, so I need to get something to eat. I'm trying to eat, and they're not hungry. I don't know what you trying to hit Taco Bell or not. Nah. Let's go. I just met this girl, and now we're off on a side quest. My Riz just sometimes just goes to an 11. Some of my friends call me the Rizard of Oz. I don't know if she knows this, but we're on a date right now, sitting in the Taco Bell parking lot. And I was never sitting there like, oh, what should I say next? What should I say next? It was never any of that. Conversation was just flowing like butter. We chill. I don't know, for like another hour, two hours? I drive her back from the spot that we left, take her to her car, she jumps out, cool. Turns out this girl didn't even live in LA, so she goes back home. But for the next two, three weeks, we just keep texting, we keep talking. So we had a fun little banter back and forth. Fast forward a month, two months, I get that text. Hey, I'm coming to town. You gonna be around? Shoo, maybe. She comes to town. We're hanging out. She's at my place. We're on the bed. We're playing Mario Kart or I don't know. Maybe it was Fusion Frenzy. And I ask her, are you single? What's, what happened to your last boyfriend? You got a man that you don't post about? Well, I had a boyfriend. That's a yes. But we broke up, but we're on a break. It's complicated. Fast forward. Never, never believe it. Never believe it. That, that break shit. I've been on both sides of this situation. <laughs> I've been the nigga going on the break. And I've been the nigga on, on the side of the bitch going on the break. It really depends on the shorty. But <clears throat> I'm going to put it like this, bro. Never believe they fully broke up. Even if you can get up in them guts. Let's just say it like that. If you can, don't mean that she's done with him. She's just probably trying to cope. Females don't make the best decisions. We know this. Except that there's going to be a good chance they're going to get back together. About another month, maybe two months, and I just get that I'm in town text. She comes over. We're in my living room. She's playing VR, and then she brings it up. So what's up with you? Are you single? Do you got a girl that you don't post about on Instagram and you keep her in the cut? Nah, no girl. <sighs> just so lonely. And I Uno reverse it to her. Are you still, what happened with your dude? Like, did y'all get back together? Nah, we broke up. Not even 30 minutes later, we're making out. Making out is not code. It was just heavy making out for a very long time. I didn't time it, so it was just a very long time. The next day, she comes back over. She brings her best friend. So I meet the best friend. We're all kikiing. Cool. We gonna jump like seven months. But during those seven months, incoming flirty texts, outgoing flirty texts, I'm coming back to town with my best friend. We should all hang out. Boom. Let's call her best friend, Cammy. They come over, all three of us are hanging out. My homegirl calls me, hey, I'm having a party, come over. So the three of us pull up, we're kicking it. We're playing a bunch of party games until like 3 a.m. So at some point of the night, me and Chun-Li end up making out. We were alone and you know, it only lasted for like two minutes. Uh, this girl's just a great kisser. As the party goes on. Who's be killing me with these make out stories? Ain't no way you ain't plugging, man. We know you. We know you a lady killer, man. You got a lot of us, bro. You trying to keep it family friendly. We get it, but make out parties. We, we 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 see what you're doing, bro. We see what you're doing. She leans over and she goes, "By the way, my friend Cammy, she thinks you're real cute." From that moment on, I'm noticing as the night goes on, Chun Li is kind of pushing me on the Cammy. Am I just y'all's plaything? I'm starting to feel like a piece of meat. Love it. Here's what I didn't realize. When me and Chun Li kissed earlier, the whole rest of the night, I had her makeup on my face. Nobody told me this. Eventually, Cammy does ask me for my number, so I give it to her. One day I get a call, and it's Cammy. I got a 45 minute drive, so I figured I'd just call you since I got some time to kill. We get to talking, and Cammy goes, You and Chun Li ever messed around? I don't want to lie to you. Yeah, we, we made out once or thrice. I knew it! Wait. How long ago? The first time or the last time? The last time. And in my head, I'm like, girl, you ain't seen me walking around looking like Heath Ledger's Joker the night of the party. So I start getting a little concernical because I hear the tone in her. You probably couldn't see shit on them party lights. 
Listen, you know how when somebody's asking you something and that tone is in that, you hear that bass? I don't lie, but I keep it kind of vague. Uh, uh, a few months ago? And when was the first time? Oh, I don't know, like a year ago? And then it was just like silence on the phone. Why do you ask? She's been cheating on her boyfriend with you. <laughs> I fucking told, I told you, I told you. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say it? Never believe it. Never believe they on a break, broken. The hoes they loyal. Never believe it. Never, ever, ever believe a bitch when she say that. Excuse me. Female. Never believe a female when they say that. Thing. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. What you mean? No, no, no. See, she had told me that they were on a break one time and then she called it off and they broke up and then she was single and then we made out and then we made out like two or three times since then. Oh my God, I can't believe it. She's such a little skis. She's been hiding this from me? Chun Li and her boyfriend never broke up. They've been fighting, but they never broke up. Are you sure? Uh, I'm her best friend. She tells me everything. Well, apparently not. Every time this girl comes to town, I'm here smooching her up. And unbeknownst to me, she got a whole boyfriend at home. So I never even told Sean Lee that I figured out that I was her snack on the side. I just kept her friendly, kept it pushing. So now, even when I hear somebody single, I'm always like, are you really, though? So in closing, if you got a main chick, got a mistress, just try to imagine how you would feel if your main chick had another mistress and was doing all this behind yo back. Calling himself a mistress is crazy, but nah, for real, man. Eh? Never believe when somebody say, oh, we just broke up recently. If she ain't been single minimum three months, bruh, don't believe it, all right? There's a chance he's still around. They still got the feels for each other, man. They still might be making out, you feel me? That's side chick by Swoozy, though, bruh. Hey. Hey, hey uh, what else can I say about it, man? I mean, it's really common sense if, you were, if you've been dating, so it's like, ain't nothing really else to say, much to say. But anyway, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Go fuck with Swoozy. Again, it'll be linked in the description. And without further ado, I'm out, man. I'll enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.